Welcome to Electra Online. One of the most striking features, even though it's not visible to the naked eye, is the magnetic field and the, magnet the magnetosphere in front of Jupiter. Jupiter, because of its rapid rotational motion and the vast majority of the planet being hydrogen and liquid and in metallic state, well, that combination produces an enormous dynamo effect that produces tremendous currents, and those tremendous currents, well, they develop a tremendous magnetic field. So, a magnetic field that's very powerful is protecting the planet Jupiter. It builds up a very large magnetosphere in front of the planet, which has a diameter of about 45 to 100 times the radius of Jupiter. So, that would put it somewhere between maybe six, uh, maybe four to seven million kilometers in diameter. In front of that, we have what we call the bow shock, and this is where the solar wind first encounters the magnetic field effects of Jupiter, and the particles begin to part in all directions, depending upon whether or not they're positive or negatively charged. They will either go one direction or the other direction, and they'll curve around the magnetic magnetosphere, and in some, to some extent, they will impact the northern and southern polar regions. And so Jupiter will have tremendous aurora borealis effects because of those solar wind particles being slammed around the magnetosphere into the planet. Behind the magnetosphere we have a magneto tail and it's also enormously big. The magneto tail essentially reaches past the orbit of Saturn. And so since Saturn is five astronomical units away, you can then realize that it is an enormously long tail. And both the magnetosphere and the magneto tail are devoid of solar wind particles. They simply do not enter that. They're simply being deflected around it and protect and the, the, the planet and the region around it is therefore protected from the solar winds. In between the magnetosphere and the bow shock is a region that's called the magneto sheet and then the the frontal region of the magnetosphere is called the magnetopause. Now, within the magnetosphere, you will have a plasma of particles that come from the moon Io. Io is a very active volcanic um, uh, moon, and therefore the, the volcanic eruptions, which, which go hundreds of miles away from the surface of the moon, do get caught electrically and magnetically by these strong forces in the magnetosphere, and it ends up filling the region around the planet Jupiter with that kind of plasma particles, but it will be very different from the plasma particles it would have if the solar wind was able to reach that region. The solar wind simply is deflected around it. At Jupiter's equator, the magnetic field strength is about 417 microteslas, and if you compare that to the Earth, which is about 25 to 65 microteslas, depending upon where on the surface of the Earth you are, you can see that the magnetic field at the surface of Jupiter is about 10 times the strength of the magnetic field of the Earth. And I've heard numbers as much as 20 times, of course, depending upon what number you pick here. So definitely, Jupiter has an enormously powerful magnetic field due to the fact that it has these vast regions in the interior of the planet which are made of metallic hydrogen and the rapid rotation of the planet and the uh, proclivity of the current within the planet will cause these very powerful currents and therefore very powerful magnetic fields. So it's quite unique in that respect. Uh, by far the strongest and largest region of the ma magnetic uh, magnetosphere, magnetic, magnetic tail, and the strength of the magnetic field is by far the strongest of all the planets in the solar system. And that is one of the key features of the planet Jupiter.